Hello there. Please come in. Sit down. Let me just sanitize my hands real quick. season, but refreshing nonetheless. Let me see. Would you mind just confirming your name and date of birth for me? Excellent. And is that your preferred name, and how do you like to be addressed? Very good. Excellent. So, today I have something very special for you. You are a participant in an exam that focuses primarily on inspection, auscultation, palpation, and percussion. These are four diagnostic methods that all medical professionals that work with patients use to fetter out what may be wrong with someone or to look at different symptoms. So, with you, I'm going to be looking at different parts of your body. That's the inspection part. I'm going to be listening with our stethoscope, and that's the auscultation, as I will be auscultating along your body. I'm going to be feeling parts of your body, your skin, the consistency, if there's any lumps or bumps that should be there versus what should not be there. And finally, percussion. And we have two ways we can do percussion. We have the direct and indirect method. And I'll be using both with you. Okay? All right. Have any questions so far? Okay. I'll likely explain more as we go through the exam. So, as this exam does entail palpation, as well as needing to touch you for other portions, is it all right if I touch you for this exam? Have your permission to do that? Excellent. Thank you very much. If at any point you feel any pain or discomfort, please let me know, all right? Okay, so we're going to be using these different diagnostic methods, and I also will be taking notes from time to time, all right? Okay, so we're going to start with your head. We're going to work down. And we're going to start with inspection. So I'm going to get a little closer. All right. Just going to get a little closer. And as we were speaking, I was looking at the symmetry of your head, of your face, the size, the proportion making sure everything was midline and that, for example, your ears were about the same level, your eyes were about the same level. And now I am just looking, just looking at the quality of 
the skin taking a brief little look. Now, with inspection, we do also use other tools, whether we're using light, magnifying glass, an otoscope, but for the purposes of this exam, we are just doing a brief, almost cursory at the hair, at the head. And just ascertaining what I can infer from, from some light inspection. And with the head and the face, this may feel almost like massage. And with the head and face, I'm going to be using a light pressure. And I'm going to feel the contours of the skull. I'm going to be feeling the skin of the face. We're going to be feeling underneath the jaw. Everything from the neck. going to palpate here. Now, oftentimes one will use gloves for this. For certain, for certain areas of palpation, the gloves hinder the whole reason you're palpating, as if you're looking for textural differences, for example. The gloves tend to hinder a lot of sensation. And in this instance, just trying to make sure that I'm not provoking any reaction. Just keep sitting still for me as I feel around your head. Normally, this is a little more, again, cursory, but here, I'm trying to be a bit more thorough. So, with some parts of the exam being a little less thorough, some parts being a little more. So, I'm just going to feel right about the hairline feel for the occipital nodes, and then we come up and we feel the postauricular nodes right behind the ear. And then if we come back in front, we can feel the preauricular. We can go down a little bit and we can feel rotted gland around that area. Okay, let me feel the submental and submandibular notes right under the jaw. And I have to get a little bit of a rolling motion here to feel them. They're a little, little difficult. Now I'm just going to feel your temporomandibular joint right here. 
I'm going to feel the masseter muscle. I'm going to feel the temporalis muscle. So, let me just... Let me just palpate this a little bit. Is this tender at all? Okay. All right. If you could open your jaw for me. Mm-hmm. And close your jaw. Open. Can you open your jaw? Close. Open. Close. Open. And close. Okay, very good. Alright, so lastly, we're going to be doing some percussion. And I'm going to be using the direct method of percussion. Now with this, you may have seen before, going to be tapping along the sinus cavities. So, I'm going to feel for any tenderness in that. All right. So, I'm just going to come here. Let's start with the frontal. So, I'm just going to tap, 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 tap along the sinuses here. You just let me know if they're tender. Okay. Any of that tender at all? No? Okay. Any of that? Okay. And how about on the maxillary sinuses? Right across Bridge your nose from the bridge of your nose to your your cheeks. Anything tender there? No. Okay. Very good. Take a look at the neck. So, just going to be inspecting the neck. It's getting a little cold. Taking a little look at the neck. Would you mind just swallowing for me? of concern and movement looked normal and unobstructed when you swallowed. Alright, so now I'm going to auscultate. And with auscultation here, I'm going to be listening to your carotid arteries here. We're going to listen for something called a brewy. And a brewy is a heart murmur, an audible heart murmur. All right? Okay, give me just a moment. All right, so I am going to put the diaphragm of my stethoscope on your neck. And I'm just going to have you take a deep breath in and hold it so I can listen without any other noises contaminating the sound. And then I'll have you exhale, okay? So if you could just take a deep breath in for me. Hold.
Good, good, good. And now if you could take a deep breath in for me. Very good. Easy enough? Yeah, that's about as involved as, as this exam will be for you, okay? So next we're going to do the palpation, and I'm going to be very careful about this. I'll let you know when something might be a little uncomfortable so that you're aware and you don't all of a sudden feel discomfort. And we don't need to do any percussion on the neck, just like we didn't need any auscultation on the head, all right? So first, I'm going to feel for the lymph nodes. So here we have the different cervical chain nodes. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cervical. Okay, I'm just feeling this might be uncomfortable. I'm going to feel around the windpipe. Yeah, that one's not so fun, but it's real quick. Okay, good. And it is in midline. That's good. Feel any? Okay. And just feeling around the back here. Okay, so I'm not feeling any lumps. Now, I'm just going to put my hands right on your neck, and I'm going to have you swallow again for me. I'm going to feel if there's any, any movement there that shouldn't be there, right? If you could just swallow for me. Very good. Okay, great. So, neck looks good. So let's work with the chest here. So first I'm going to inspect the chest. I'm looking for any deformities in the chest wall. I'm looking for any bulging, any distension, looking for scars, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to take a look here, look at the symmetry. Now the chest wall includes the posterior chest wall, which is your back, but for the purposes of this exam, we're just going to stay in front. Okay. Very good. All right, everything looks good that way. Now we're going to do some palpation. First, I'm going to feel the supraclavicular nodes right above the clavicle, as the name suggests. I'm just going to just feel this. Okay. And then I'm going to feel the chest wall. And then we'll get a little fine-tuned in a moment. Just feeling with my hands any deformities. Okay, and just for funsies, I'm going to put my hands on your chest here, and if you could take 
a deep breath in for me and out all the way out and then take another deep breath in and out feeling a little bit of chest expansion in that. You can keep breathing normally. <laughs> so, it's feeling the sternum and the bottom part, which is my favorite part on the body. Well, the name is my favorite, which is the xiphoid process. What a name. <laughs> okay, good. And now I'm going to feel around the heart, okay? So I'm going to put my whole hand here. I'm just going to wait here for a moment. There's such a thing known as heaves and thrills, which are palpable heart murmurs that you feel with different parts of your hand. And I'm just going to feel with the heel of my hand here. Okay, now let's locate the apex beat. So this is going to be at your midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space down. The intercostal is the space, that muscle between each so if we go mid-clavicular line and one, two, three, four, five, and feel right there. That should be our apex beat. Very good. Very good. Okay. So now we're gonna do some percussion. And this type of percussion is the indirect method, which we'll be using henceforth. So with the indirect method of percussion, I'm going to place one hand, mostly, we're mostly focusing on the fingers, on your chest in a specific place. And with the fingers of my other hand, I'm going to be tapping. Now you could just do one tap. I like a good two tap has a good rhythm to me, but I'm going to be listening to the sound that comes back. For example, we can tell if fluid is in a place where it shouldn't be, or if there's not any fluid in a place where there should be, and we can listen to the borders, contours of the organs as well. But I'm going to be listening to the different sounds that are made as I work down the chest, okay? Listening around your lungs primarily. So, I'm just going to place my hand on your chest and then we're going to tap, 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 tap. You gotta be real quick on the draw back so you can listen. Okay, so I'm just going to good. Okay, and that was just up at the top here. Now we're going to get into down into the, into the chest. Okay. Good. Okay, very good. And now we'll get into auscultation. So we're going to be listening to your lungs as well as your heart. Let's go ahead and start with the heart. So we're going to start with listening to the aortic area of the heart. So you can just breathe normally at this point, okay? I'm going to move to the pulmonic. And the 
tricuspid valve. be listening to Herb's Point. Okay, and then let's take a listen to your lungs. So this time I'm going to be moving in the same fashion that I did before with the same points that I use with percussion. So we're going to be taking a listen and I'm going to be Having you take a deep breath in and out. Okay, so each point I'll have you take a breath and I'll work in that ladder pattern down your chest. Okay? Alrighty, so if you could take a deep breath in for me and out. Deep breath in and out. Always comparing left to right. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good, good, good. Excellent. So had no signs of anything like wheezing or fine or coarse crackling, which I didn't expect anyway, but just to make sure. go ahead and move on to the abdomen. Now with the abdomen, we change up our order a little bit. So for this, we do our inspection, auscultation, percussion, and palpation. With palpation, we are going to do our light pressure like we have, in addition to doing a deep pressure, okay? So two types of palpation, indirect percussion, the order changes a little bit. And that's because when we palpate and percuss, that's going to change the sounds that are generated in your abdomen. So we want to capture those before we go messing with everything. Okay? Okay, so we're going to do a little inspection. All right. And just take a little look here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any bulging or sunken in areas where there should not be. That's good. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Let's go ahead with our auscultation. Okay, so here I'm going to listen across the four quadrants and more specifically the nine different zones of the abdomen, all right? So, I just want you to breathe normally for me, okay? And we're just going to take a little listen. a model patient this whole exam. I appreciate that. Is the end of the stethoscope. For the rest of the exam, we will not need to auscultate any further, okay? Now we're going to work with percussion, and just like with the chest, we're going to be using our indirect percussion, in which I'm using my fingers, okay? Just like that. And I'm going to be tapping along all the areas that I just listened to, it's going to be quite a bit, okay? Much more than on the lungs. So, do let me know if anything is tender or painful, okay? Now we're going to do our palpation. So I'm going to start with the light pressure, and that one, not usually uncomfortable. It, it feels just kind of weird to have someone press on your stomach. With the deep pressure, that one is uncomfortable, so I'm going to have you just do your best to breathe through it. And that one will not take too long, okay? So just breathe through it all. It doesn't last very long, okay? All right, so with the light pressure, pretty much use one hand with the deep, tend to use two, okay? We're gonna start with the light pressure. And how is this? Manageable? Okay. <laughs> just interesting that that we can feel we can physically feel the organs with our fingers it's never failed to 
to draw my arm. Okay, and now we're going to do the deep pressure in which I use both my hands and a good amount of pressure. Again, please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness and try to breathe through it. All right? Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. Okay, maybe I talked it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's not it's not as bad as I built it up to be. People, I mean, it's it's understandable if people get a little squicked out by someone rifling around in their abdominal bins. That's you know, the place where your organs are not protected. It's just kind of soft there. Just have the muscle in your skin. So, of course, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, what is the word? Not exactly primal, but it's instinct to, to be a little on the, on the uncomfortable side someone's really pressing deep in on your abdomen. Okay. Very good. All right, you survived that. So, that part is complete. Now, we're going to do a little bit on the extremities. Now, with the extremities, we can do inspection and we can do the palpation. Now, I can get a little bit of percussion, a little bit of direct percussion if we do the Tinnels test on the wrists, but otherwise it's mostly inspection and palpation, okay? So, let's go ahead and start at the shoulders. We'll work our way down, down the arms to the hands, okay? So, let's do inspection first. Let's start with this side, okay? I'm just taking a brief look here. Looking at the skin, the muscle, looking for any signs of injury, any, in the case of by the elbows, any plaques. down the arm into the hand would you mind just flipping your hand over for me? okay, good and up okay very good and now the other arm Would you mind flipping over your hand? Good. Good. Okay. And would you mind showing me your elbows? Okay, good. All right, you can put them down. So now I'm going to get into the palpation, all right? Please let me know if anything is painful or uncomfortable, okay? I'm just going to be grasping on to arm. There's some lymph nodes in here, but really there's, there's few instances where we would feel those. And then with the elbow here, I'm going to be feeling any pain here, tenderness? Sometimes when we get tendinitis, we have pain right on the sides of the elbow, like I do. <laughs> okay, 
and along the arm here. Okay, mind if I rotate the wrist a little bit? Good. Okay, and you mind if I take the weight of your arm and I'm just going to move it around a little? Okay, so it's going to look at a little bit of the range of movement. Any pain with any of this? No? Okay. Alright, and let's do that, that dental test. So, I'm just going to be just tapping along the wrist here, and if you have carpal tunnel, this can, this can be a, a test for that. I get a little twinge at this. Not too much, just a little bit. But you seem to be doing okay. Yeah. Alright, let's feel the hand. So, feeling for any wasting. The thumb. Side of the hand here. Okay. Feeling the snuff box. It's my, my word of the day. My partner, I was telling him that I had injured my snuff boxes, which your anatomical snuff box is this area right here. And he thought I was the most pretentious person in the room. And he's like, who the hell knows what a snuff box is? And I said, okay, dude, what is that area then? What do you call that? He goes, I don't know, your thumb? I'm like, but it's not quite your thumb, though, is it? He said, I don't know, your hand? But it's not quite your hand. I mean, yes, it's part of it, but guess what definition fits in there? Anatomical snuff box. I think he was just upset that I knew something that he did not. So, I have proceeded to tell the world all about what the anatomical snuff box is because when you injure that, oh mama, holy blonde cheerleader Batman, life is painful. <laughs> Got a little bit off topic there, but I'm gonna feel around your joints now. And you let me know if there's any pain or discomfort. Feel the proximal and the distal joints and the phalanges. Proximal being closest to you, distal being furthest away. Okay, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you split your hands and I'm gonna push them together, okay? You let me know if that's painful. Okay, no? All right, very good. Okay, lastly, let's go ahead and look at your cap refill on your nails. Sign a good circulation as if it pretty much instantly flows back. Goes from pale to more pink. Okay. Alright, and now the other arm. the elbow and the crook. The crook of your elbow is known also as the cubital fossa, which is another $10 word that my partner was not exactly pleased to hear that there was a more scientific word for it. Again, I think he just wants to know more than me. and just feeling around. Does this feel painful at all? Tender or painful? Good. Make sure to take care of your, of your tendons and your joints. 
they'll watch them. They will. <laughs> Make sure to keep an eye on them, get some good stretching. No video game marathons. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and roll the wrist a little. Any pain in this? No? Okay, and let me take the weight of your arm. Any pain with any of this? No? Okay. Alright, let's do our tinnel test. Percussion on the wrist. Anything here? Nope. Alright, very good. Let's look at the muscle in the hand. Any wasting? Nope, it all looks nice and firm. Okay, the snuff box here. Eat a duck, snuff box. Where you go, you duck to the end. <laughs> okay, and let's feel the joints. Proximal, distal, proximal, distal, proximal, distal. Very good. Okay. Spill your fingers for me. I'm gonna try to try to bring them together. Okay. Good. And let's look at the cap refill. That's all good as well. Very good. So let's look at your legs and your feet. Okay? Let's do some inspection first. So, let's see. Okay. Not seeing any skin abnormalities. And the feet look good. They don't look swollen. Okay, let's go ahead and feel around, okay? So let's start with the thigh. It's a very, very powerful muscle there. Any of this painful at all? Anything in the IT band here? Iliotibial band? No? Okay. Right, and what about by the knee here? How are we, how are we feeling about the knee? Feeling okay, all right. I'm just gonna feel at the back of your knee. I'm gonna feel pulse there. Okay, and I'm just gonna look at any fluid around the knee. So I'm gonna push forward on the top of your knee and feel around. Okay. Right, and down the shin and the calf muscle. Okay, good. And the foot here. Feel the ankle. Not feeling for any signs of edema. And I'm just going to roll your ankle a little bit. Okay. any of this painful? No? Okay. Good. I'm just gonna feel, feel the foot. Okay, and let's look at the capillary refill on the toenails. Okay, good. So good circulation in the feet. Let's look at the other leg. Start with the thighs. And the knee. Any pain here? 
now. Pulse the back of the knee. Forward. found it to be a missed opportunity that tibia and fibula did not exactly rhyme so for many years I thought it was tibia and fibia because that makes sense or even tibula and fibula would make sense but tibia and fibula at that point just don't do it but alas it's not how the world works they did not consult me when they named the bones of the lower leg as thus. They should have though. Okay, and the ankle. Healing for edema. And let's roll this one around. Just a little bit of crepitus in this. It's not bad. I swear I moved my leg like one centimeter to the side and it's like I stepped on a cellophane bag. Okay, and let's feel the foot. Feel the capillary refill. Feel. Look at the capillary refill. Good. It looks great. Okay. So, that'll do it. Very good. Okay. So, I'm just going to take a few last minute notes, just tying it all together, and then we'll get you on out of here, all right? just sign on. Okay. And we are all finished. Do you have any questions for me at all? No? Okay. So I'd like to thank you so much for your participation in our examination. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a And a good rest of your night. Thank you. Goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video if you want to. Comment if you'd like to. And subscribe.